Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to film a fun tag video. I mentioned a while ago that I was gonna try to film some more informal, just kind of filler videos to add more content to my channel. It's been raining cats and dogs all morning, so I made a cup of coffee and I put on my coziest sweater and I thought it would be the perfect time to film the sweater weather tag. So, without further ado, let's get started. The first question, what is your favorite candle scent? My favorite candle scent for the fall or sweater weather scent is Yankee Candles Banana Nut. To be honest, I don't even really like bananas, nor do I like banana bread, but this candle smells so good. I'm actually burning it right now. I wish you could smell it through the camera. I actually picked this one up at Marshall's recently. Unfortunately, it was just two wicker. So when I find two wick candles, I burn them one wick at a time just to make it last longer. Otherwise they burn down really, really quickly. Hence why this is not a Bath and Body Works candle. Um, I'm not a fan of their three wicks. I do love their scents, but the three wick thing is a deal breaker for me. So I'm a Yankee girl. The next question, coffee, tea, or hot chocolate? Every morning I drink coffee, every night I like to drink tea, and hot chocolate is just whenever I'm in the mood. For the most part, I can't really even answer that question. I, I, I drank all three. What's the best fall memory you have? I'm not sure I could pick just one. The fall holds a lot of really special memories for me. All the fairs, I love Halloween, so I have a lot of really good Halloween memories um, with my girlfriend Lauren. She's like my Halloween ride or die. I love apple picking, I love baking. Baking with my sister is always fun in the fall. I have a lot of really special memories. It's hard to pick. Which makeup trend do you prefer, dark lips or winged eyeliner? Um, to be honest, I like both. And to be really honest, I kind of stink at both. <laughs> I'm not the best at winging my eyeliner or wearing dark lips, even though I really enjoy both of them. If I had to pick, I think I would pick lips. I'm new to the dark lipstick world, but I've been really embracing them this season. Best fragrance for fall. This was in one of my recent videos, the Giorgio Armani Sea Perfume. I actually received this to test and review. And when I first smelled it, I wasn't, I, I did not like it, but it was very different than anything I had ever worn. But long story short, this has become my new favorite scent and I've been wearing it every day and getting compliments left and right. Even my boyfriend the other day was like, where's that perfume from? I'm so grateful that I had the opportunity to try it, but I'm very disappointed that I'm gonna have to purchase it next time. Well, not disappointed. I, I'd gladly shell out the money for this, but this has become a really special fall scent to me. Next question, favorite Thanksgiving food. This is kind of a funny one because my favorite Thanksgiving food is something that we've never had at our Thanksgiving dinner. I love and crave throughout the year green bean casserole. Like the Campbell's soup kind, the crunchy onions on top. That is my favorite. And never once have we ever had that at our family's Thanksgiving dinner. We don't, we're not like green bean casserole people. When I was in college, I was in a sorority. Every year we would have a Greek Thanksgiving dinner with the fraternity and everyone would bring stuff. One year I met up with my girlfriend beforehand to prepare our dishes and she was making green bean casserole. I was like, what is that? It looked so good. She was like, it's green bean casserole. You've never had this? And I was like, no, we have never had that ever since then. I have been obsessed with green bean casserole. I would make it for myself for dinner like throughout the year. I made it for my family one time. They're like, yeah, this is good. I don't think they liked it as much as I did. Green bean casserole is my number one. Your most worn sweater. I actually pulled it out. This Charlotte Russe sweater. It's just a knit. It's honestly nothing fancy at all. I wear all the time. I wear this with leggings and jeans. This sweater goes with everything and it comes in a lot of different colors, which I recently found out. So I'm gonna link some of those below if you're interested. They have it in like a mauve, green, I saw blue, I think a white and a cream. So I'm picking some new ones up and I definitely recommend this for anyone who's in the market for a really comfortable everyday sweater. What is your must have nail polish for the fall? In the fall, I really love reds, berries, browns, anything warm. I did pull two of my favorite polish colors. I'm a huge fan of the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel, and these two are a couple go-tos for me in the fall. This brownish shade is called Headbang, and this deep red is called Dig Fig. Both of these are really great colors. Football games are jumping in piles of leaves. I'm gonna be 
100% honest, I can't stand football. I have to say jumping in piles of leaves, even though now as an adult, thinking about jumping in a pile of leaves like reminds me of like worms and ticks and insects and dirtiness, but I think I would still do it. Although with football games comes really good food. So that's actually a toss up. I really get nothing from jumping in a pile of leaves, but from sitting through a football game, I might get fed something really yummy. Skinny jeans or leggings? I love both, I wear both, but I think at the end of the day, especially for this sweater weather tag, I'm gonna have to go with leggings because it's all about being cozy and comfortable this time of year. And every time I put jeans on, I'm like, darn, I wish I wore leggings. <laughs> Combat boots or Uggs? To be honest, I'm due for a new pair of Uggs. My Uggs have seen better days, but I do like some combat e boots but between the two I'd have to say Uggs. Basic. Next question, is pumpkin spice worth the hype? I'm so excited about this question because my answer is no! I don't think it's very good. I drink it once in a while, I really do, when I'm kind of in the mood to be festive, but it's not that great. It's not bad. I'm not gonna say it's bad, but no, it is not worth the hype at all. You know what is worth the hype? It's the caramel apple spice at Starbucks. Oh, that thing, the best drink I've ever had, ever. Like, go get it. It's basically a warm, caramelly apple cider. And it is so good. That is worth all the hype and then some. If you see me carrying around a Starbucks cup, probably has that in it over a pumpkin spice. Favorite fall TV show? I guess a lot of TV shows do come back out in the fall, and there are a bunch that I like to watch. But I'm a DVR and Netflix girl, so I really don't watch anything in real time anymore, which is kind of sad, but at the same time, kind of amazing. <laughs> Lately, I have been watching every night when I get in bed, I just put it on before I go to sleep, Gilmore Girls. I enjoyed Gilmore Girls growing up. I'm from Connecticut, so that show really kind of resonates with me. Just the scenery, the vibe, it just, I love it. It reminds me of fall. And with the revival coming back right after Thanksgiving, how could you not be into Gilmore Girls right now? Last question, what song really gets you into the fall spirit? This is tricky for me because I can't really say that there's a fall spirit song. This time of year I really enjoy anything soft and acoustic and a lot of country. Anything that helps me slow down and just and think and I don't know. No, I, that's a tricky one. Alright guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching the sweater weather tag and I tag anyone who watches this video to do it themselves. Please like this video if you liked it. Leave me a comment below letting me know if we had any of the same answers. Share this video with a friend who you think might enjoy it or who would want to film a sweater weather tag themselves. Thank you again. I'll see you next time.